y'all my name is Ashley today I'm gonna teach you how to make beauty salon or kitchen apron for you guys it's very simple an apron it's gonna be just like this which I've done this long time ago and it's getting older uh, this material is like it's like slippery when we cut hair the hair slips and goes away this side is a like a velvet it is you don't need such such a big piece it depends how big is your body this material you fold in half and you put this on top of you now it depends how high do you want or how low do you want for beauticians it's always nice to keep it up so when they cut the hair it doesn't jump on your their chest or whatever and when you make it half you we have to keep a little extra because we want to fold the top and then you will see where is your waist i want mine to be a little longer here to my kind of shoulder what do i do i put a little pin this is how far i want from my chest and this is my waist and I want to come close to here. I don't want that to be shorter. I'll put another pin here. And then what you do is from your waist to up, you just make a little circle. And the length is your preference, how long you want or how short do you want. From here to here, we have to make a circle because here is the pin we put it for the furtherness. So just follow to the line. All right, there you go this is like this over here we don't want this part to be open from inside later on we're just gonna go for women for their chest for their breast to fold it and it will hug you the length is too long what we need is of course handles for the neck and for the waist so what do we do we have to cut a couple pieces you can cut about half inch, one inch, whichever. For the neck, about three quarter inch to one inch, whichever you want. There you go. Some people would love to have a pocket. You put little pockets from the, to the sides and you cut again from this material because it's too long. But if you have extra material yourself, you can put little pockets in the sides. Okay, now I'm gonna do the pocket. Here I, you see on the pocket, I put some pins. Anytime you put the pin, you make sure that the heads are down. When you sew, go this way, you can pull the pin uh, out. Because if you put the other side, it's gonna be hard and it's gonna go under the machine. Now this side, I didn't fold it because this is gonna go to the sides, outside of the apron. So just go straight line like this only thing make sure that you have enough material in the back and you don't have to go fast just go slowly slowly and make sure that your finger always doesn't go too much in it okay so in the corner always make sure your needle is inside so you can twist so the thing the needle doesn't come the material doesn't come out or slip like that you hold it tight you know, and you sew. Slowly, slowly you do it. This is the way you do. Go to the corner. Make sure it doesn't go on the needle. You're on the pin, your needle, because if it does, your needle is gonna break. Alright, let's pull this out and here we go. This is the pocket now. I already from the top, let me show you. I fold it, this is the top part. I fold it and I sew it. Later on we can cut this part away. And then I went straight and I curved it a little bit. But when you're curving it, you always, it's good to make a little notch. Because when I curve this pocket, for example, if I'm going to do this, it's going to pull the material. You have to put a little notch and you have to go kind of rounder like this. And then when I reached here, I put the belt. I didn't finish it yet. I want to fold this just like this. It has already two layer here. Two layer here, it will be four layer. So when it's four layer, your needle, it might have a little bit hard time to go in. Here, with your hands, 
for the needle, whatever the heavy thick part it is, you have to twist it with your hands. You just go backward and then you go back forward. So what it does, it kind of secure because you're gonna use the handle so much, your belt. So you make sure that it's nice and tight. Now, I wanna show you here that I went just really straight down. And outside, that which it goes outside, I didn't sew it because I put them I put on top of the, the my apron and I fold it and that's how it kind of saved me time and now you go straight like this up I'm gonna go just backward a little bit because we need the ends to be secure we don't want any holes okay this have to go just straight okay over here there is three layers I have to be careful now you can sew it from the end or you can go on top of the stitch. When you go from the end, it will you'll have more space as a pocket. If you want to look clean and more professional, you can go on top or you can make it like two line. It depends how do you like to do it. It's a preference. See how if, if your pocket, I mean if your hands go comfortable inside, then make it shorter. Uh, you know. If you want, then make it longer. I think I will, over here, I will put a little bit extra stitches. I'll put this down. There you go. I think it looks very pretty. Go backward, go forward. And there you go. Now you'll see a beautiful pocket. Here we go. This is like you, I showed you here from the sides to the pocket, to the bottom. And over here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna fold again, even this part, the top part, and then I'm gonna put the handle over here from the bottom and already one side is done. Now I'm gonna work the other side and I, then I will show you all done. Okay, we'll finish the apron. I just wanna show you the back part, what we did, which I was saying, the chest part. Tighten it up a little bit here, and what you do is you put a pin. You just put a pin here and a pin at the end. So when you sew, you will, this is the end. When you sew, you come to the end very, very gently. And then, before that, when you're putting the pin, fold your apron together so you will know exactly the first part that you're pinning so you do the same thing to the other from there to the ends of the pin you just go and angle out like this so this way this way it will give the shape of your chest just like this and here's the end product which is you can use it for anything gardening in a kitchen cutting hair it's a wonderful thing i think everybody should have a machine and in case if you like to have a machine click on my link and it's in the description well let me tell you what kind of material is this this is microfiber material it can last you for a long time which i've been using this kind of material for 30 35 years in case if you would be interested with this material click on the link and it will be in the description if you like it please subscribe on my channel i hope you'll have a good time and enjoy it thank you very much again i'll see you next time bye bye